The 22nd U.S. Sumo Open took place this past Saturday at the Walter Pyramid at Cal State Long Beach. The international super competitors came from countries such as Japan, Mongolia, Egypt, Poland, and more to compete. Due to pandemic lockdowns, the U.S. Sumo Open was held at smaller venues in recent years. This year, it has returned to its favorite stadium and with its favorite head judge, Japanese pro sumo champion Yama. One of the winners for the men's middleweight division loves coming to this competition as he gets to compete with international competitors. I wasn't really stressed or thinking about the competition or anything. I was just enjoying myself. So I did, I did pretty good, I think. I won the gold medal. In the women's division, there was a Polish competitor who won two gold medals. It was her first time competing in this competition. Yeah, I love that. I love that people, this atmosphere, it's awesome. In Poland, uh, there is nothing similar to, to this. There is a lot of emotions, scream, doping, everything. I, I never seen something like that, really. And in the men's division, there was another big winner, an international competitor from Mongolia who won two gold medals for men's heavyweight and open weight division. The Mongolian competitor, Mendy, easily secured a victory, going undefeated in 14 matches. According to Andrew Freud, the director of the U.S. Sumo Open, no one has won so many matches undefeated in a single tournament. Sumo as a sport is very easy to watch and follow as the rules are very simple. To win, a competitor either knocks the opponent down to the ground or out of the circle. A competitor is allowed to slap and pull the belt of their opponent, but is not allowed to punch, kick, pull hair. There are over 80 techniques that either involve pushing or throwing. The U.S. Sumo Open included for both women's and men's the following divisions. Lightweight, middleweight, light, heavyweight, and heavyweight. The U.S. Sumo Tournament displayed some upsets and surprises along with the strength, speed, and skills of the competitors who came to win. Jack Gurriels, NTD News, Los Angeles.